If extraterrestrials created the human race on Earth to help build and get gold, then why, on the other hand, is it said that we were sent here to basically learn lessons, karmic lessons, or how to figure out who we are to get to a higher level so we can then leave this Earth prison? If we were made to work in this atmosphere, then we were made to be our Creator's workers, slaves. Either our Creators left us here, or they are still with us. If they left us here after they got what they wanted, then why would we praise them? If they are here, and they allow all that happens here, good or bad, what is the reason? Why would they let other extraterrestrials come and make a hybrid of the first human creation? Are we all just being used by these gods? That question is long. Um, sounds like you need to come to class. <laughs> because there's so many different questions you ask. There's a lot of... It's like you're asking the question and answering it yourself because you're saying mm. if this, if that, if this, if that. Um, we're going to have to probably re, like go through them slowly because there's a lot of yeah, let's points. Put, let's break um, it down. And you say <laughs> if... Extraterrestrials, first of all, mm. which extraterrestrials are we talking about? That's what I was thinking. And, and what, what situation are we talking about? Mm. It sounds like you're talking about Enlil and Enki. That's what I was, yeah. <laughs> and the uh, Anunnaki story, yeah. as in them being made, you know, slaves and workers. Um, yeah, can you just kind of like read it and we'll tell you when to stop and then you mm. read the next bit because there's a lot. If extraterrestrials created the human race on Earth to help build and get gold, then why, on the other hand, is it said that we were sent here to basically learn lessons, karmic lessons? Yeah. Right. Yeah, stop there. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 the Anunnaki or the Ano Ano um, Anakim, they create the Adamites to mine the gold. Mm. Yeah. So it's 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 like there was there were many projects mm. taking place, and that's just one of the projects, yeah. and they were mining gold but that doesn't apply to everybody yeah. and every race on the planet this is why we have to like say what are we talking mm. about what stories which extraterrestrials when and so on that next part or how to figure out who we are to get to a higher level so we can then leave this earth prison yeah that part is wool sabat that's yeah. what wool sabat <laughs> is here to do is to get you to study to learn to know who you are and to know what you need to do so you don't have to come back and to leave here if we were made to work in this atmosphere, then we were made to be our creator's workers, slaves. Yeah, we already covered that. That's the Anunnaki yeah, story you're talking Adamites, about. Yeah. Adamites, yeah. Either our creators left us here, or they are still with us. Well, who's your creator? This is what I'm saying. It's like your mother and father are your creators. Mm. But, you know, because you've been given this religious concept of God created you, but as we say, which God? And that, that whole story you're talking about, it's... The Bible doesn't apply to everyone. The Quran doesn't apply to everyone. Um, so you're talking about the Anunnaki stories and uh, you know the Sumerians. That's what that was about. And it ties into a book that a master teacher wrote, Why No Help From Above. Mm. Actual, is it Master Seek? Yeah, Master Seek. It's... If they left us here after they got what they wanted, then why would we praise them? This is what I'm saying. Yeah. Like, they... They, let, they didn't leave us here, like, we're not, who's the us, you know? We, we that are here are to learn, because people's um, genet genetics or genealogy are from different places. Mm. So different races relate to different extraterrestrials. Mm. And these extraterrestrials, some of them come back to help their offspring to elevate and teach them so they can leave it or even take them with them. Um, unfortunately, sometimes when these teachers come along, um, they turn them into gods and start to worship them and don't actually follow the instructions. And like, you know, Joseph Smith for the Mormons, for mm. example, he came and you can go through all the different people that have come, even including Jesus. They end up getting crucified because they're teaching you how to be God, not to worship God because mm. you are God, but they're trying to elevate you so that you don't have to come back, basically. Yeah. But some of the beings or beings that you call gods are actually coming back for food. Mm. Yeah, again, that's what I'm saying, the purpose <laughs> you're here for. Some of you are bred as farm animals, mm. just like you breed chickens Chicken, and goats yeah. and cows to eat them. They're doing the same. Livestock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> If they are here and they allow all that happens here, good or bad, what is the reason? 
there's no, this is what I'm saying. Yeah. Good or bad is subjective. Like, people say something is bad because it affects them negatively. Mm. But to someone else, that's a good thing. So the extraterrestrials that, they don't look at it like a bad thing. Like, do you look at it as a bad thing when you breed chickens to eat them? Because you're saying you're nourishing and mm. feeding yourself. They're looking at it like, we need food. Yeah, and that's it. And we like your type of meat and we're going to breed you to eat you just the same way. And now, because it's you as a human, you say, oh, it's terrible, it's so bad. But then you <laughs> don't think the same when you're doing it to the chickens or to the goats or to the Cow. cows or the other animals. People give them names and everything. Yeah. yeah? But menu... <laughs> man you, yeah? yeah? Man is going to be on the menu. So we shouldn't feel... Well, we're, we're all right, but... Yeah. <laughs> you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> we put ourselves on the menu when we do silly things and do the things that season us yeah. for their taste. Don't be on the menu. Yeah. Right, go on, next question. <laughs> Why would they let other extraterrestrials come and make a hybrid of the first human creation? Are we all just being used by these gods? Yeah, they're different types of mm. um, extraterrestrials, and it's not let them. They just, they, they just like um, there are no rules. It's just like, well, there are galactic galactical rules, laws, laws. Yeah, but yeah, I'm saying like in terms of um, why would they allow? No one is allowing them. It's like okay, no, actually, you got. You got different stages, mm. isn't it? You got the Parnatharu who are like the overseers, yeah. and they try to keep order. And there are certain laws, like certain extraterrestrials, are not not allowed to come here, mm. but they still come here. Yeah. Just like immigration, mm. you know, you hear about the boats. Mm. <laughs> um, people still come through and some and do things that they're not allowed to do. Then you have the beings that have to keep order and they try to put things in you know, in order. Mm. So, yeah, it's a bit of chaos because you've got a lot of conflicts going on between different species and different extraterrestrials who all have different agendas and, you know, objectives, yeah. Just like you have rules and regulations here, but man still break them, same thing up there. You have galactical laws, but beings still break them. Mm.